Around three o'clock on Saturday morning, 26-year-old Candice Flowers, a well-known figure from the Mayflower Ghost Town area, was executed in rival gang territory on Mahogany Street near its intersection with City Street. According to police, the murder stems from an early altercation between Flowers and another gang figure at a popular nightclub on Newton Barracks. Police visited about 100 feet from the corner of City Street and Mahogany Street. On the left-hand side of the street, in front of a garage, police observed the motionless body of a male person lying face up with a firearm, holding a firearm on his chest. The person was identified as Candice Flowers, a Belizean, 26-year-old Belizean of number five, Mayflower Street. What we understand is that Mr. Candice Flowers, along, were, along with others, were at a nightclub on the north side where a dispute ensued between him and other persons. As a result, he left from the nightclub and apparently he was being followed and some altercation happened between them at Mahogany Street, which ended f he being fatally wounded. During the shootout, also another male person who was along with him, Tyree Pitt, suffered a gunshot injury to his foot. He was treated and he was released. The family says that they are yet to receive an official visit or information from the police and they have unanswered questions. Khadija Barrera is claiming police involvement in the murder of her brother because of a picture that was circulated through social media in the immediate aftermath of the killing. Aside from inconsistencies between the picture and when their family arrived on the scene minutes later, Barrera says that the story just doesn't add up. The picture was already circulated with him. When I reach the scene and I see my brother down there, he me clean. Yes, he had the um the shot in his head, but the picture where they have so police or either them while they found back there, send take the picture before, send that wrong because he never have one gun for now where the meet where the um police while and there the state said one gun. We never see the gun there when we reach there. No gun never there for he. The way how, I mean. This thing looked staged the way how he made it on there. When I see her, he have like, like was shot in her hand. Like, you know, when they freeze somebody, and your hand there back of your head, they shot with it, that hand there they saw, they set her down good. I mean, if you are somebody, he have his slippers nice and neat, perfect, he foot everything. They had we to wait one long while, like, they send her the process to see one, I don't know what they made the process, they never had no, I never seen no yellow tape, yellow tape, no yellow tape, never they out there. They never had no, um, they do not own there just to stand up the watch, and they never want to make we go close to one or see one or not own. While the family believes that police officers were involved in the murder, Assistant Superintendent of Police Alejandro Kawa says that the evidence collected so far does not support that theory. Surveillance footage from the area has also been retrieved by the police, which it is believed captured the murder. I was on the scene, and I will tell you that that incident happened there. We have interviewed several persons that were along with him. We have recorded statements from them to, to corroborate what we have said earlier. Even if that is street figure, we know police have something to do with it too. Police, you have so much police where Chetuna and tell her they want to kill her. You have this, this well-known um, gang leader who send one message to her to some of his colleagues near the, um, the boom, the Laruta Maya will tell her, if you tell Kenneth, they will kill her. Two persons are currently detained in connection with the gang-related murder of Flowers. It is not known if the firearm found on his body had been discharged as the police await ballistic tests. ASP Kawa further explains the retrieval of a gun at the scene. I cannot be in a position to tell you right away if it, uh, it, it is used during the shooting. But after the ballistic testing is done, then we can verify that, yes, the firearm that was found had a live round on top of his leg, and there was a magazine containing other rounds inside of it, one on the chamber, a live one on the chamber likewise. But the shells that were recovered, I cannot tell you if that is from his firearm or from the other person until we do the comparison. News 5 last spoke with Flowers back in July of 2017 following a citywide ceasefire organized by ACP Chester Williams, Dan Finnegan and Jawi.
We don't have no problem with the police because I do their job. We just don't want no brutal, brutality for no other officers or nothing like that. You know, cannot start, we don't got no problem with that. You know, you don't have a rough way up, the string way up like no go on or mark like we don't know. Cause we all are with a human, you know? we just want to deal with it like human, you know. Stop, give a search, if I search, I want to get food in him, no problem. You know, that not be a problem, you know. If you find something illegal, if you are taking, you know, if you got charged charge anybody, well, that, you know, that will lay out on the table, we understand that. What about from gang to gang? Are you still committed in maintaining that peace? Well, as far as I know, well, we, we the whole for peace. I don't know, I know certain gang here as the whole of peace. I don't know who all will keep it up, you know. Check, but this is how we, you know, this is how we uplift for ourselves with, you know, we keep for peace. Dwayne Moody for News 5.